what's up everybody so I'm gonna show you guys a couple tutorials uh, this is gonna be the first one um, it's how to add a custom texture to something an escape room simulator and it's very simple very straightforward so what you gotta do is you gotta get your item I'm gonna use this one because it's the easiest alright and then I'm gonna pull this out just so I can show you uh, some different stuff here alright so we got these items okay so our first item is gonna be this and it's fairly simple so you click on your object you click this triangle and you click textures right now I already have some textures preloaded um, so you know you don't have to worry about uh, well, I don't have to worry about dropping them in if I want to reuse them now uh, if you want to if you don't have any of these textures it's very simple you're going to click on this folder, it's going to pop up, move that over here, and then I'm going to click on this here, let's click on, oh hold on, this is easier, file explorer, I'm going to click on my textures, now let's just say I want this one, okay, all you do is you just copy it, it's in there, you just click out exit out and you just click anywhere boom so now if you guys you can see nothing happened right so all you got to do is click here and here's your texture click your texture and it's as simple as that guys uh, you know you're gonna go ahead and with this one it's a little easy because you can make it as big or as small as you want you're not limited okay uh, that's very simple the simple version okay now this one a little bit different so when you go to textures as you can see there's three different ones okay so you're gonna go ahead and click the one you want to change so let's click this and then I'm just gonna click I already imported these textures and just click that oops and then you just click off and there's that's it now if you wanted to change this border frame uh, all you'd have to do is just figure out which texture is which and do the same and now so if you don't like this picture it's not permanent you click this button and it goes back and you want to change it again click it again and we'll do that um, you know this is very useful obviously this is a, a hint that I made so I just I just opened up a file uh, using GIMP I put a custom font and custom background on some paper uh, and I just typed away saved it and now I can use it as custom texture now last one is this one so this one uh, it's a little advanced even for me I'm not sure exactly how I would go about finding textures for this so if you click here as you can see uh, these are asymmetrical weird blobby textures because you know it's got a lot of round curves it's very complex uh, if you know how to fix these and you know how they work uh, you know I'll go ahead obviously I don't um, you know I'll, I'll probably learn and I'll probably figure it out and then I'll make a tutorial later on but yeah guys so that was the uh, probably the easiest tutorial that we have I have, as you see, I have these things set up here uh, these are just gonna be the basics that I learned because uh, there's not that many tutorials uh, around for this game since fairly new. But uh, alright guys, take care.